So this video is for absolute beginners. Uh, I'll give you some basic ideas of LaTeX. Uh, this should be a boost for you. Like uh, you cannot learn LaTeX in a 10-15 minutes video, but I'll show you some contents. I'll show you some things uh, that will make that, that 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 so that it will be easier for you to start uh, making documents in LaTeX. Uh, it's something like programming. It's uh, it's not entirely programming. It's something like programming. You write some codes like this, and then they will be sent to PDF documents like this. So let us start here. Uh, I'll start with installing LaTeX. So how do I install LaTeX on my computer? So what you can basically do is you can just go to yeah go to Google and just write. There are three major text distributions. Uh, Mike Tex, Tex Live, and Mac Tex. So Mike Tex is, I think, it's around 200 MB. Tex Live is the entire text distribution. If you have a really nice internet connection, then it's something like uh, it's around 4.5 GB. And if you are using a Mac, uh, then go for Mac Tex. It's the best one. So let us start. <clears throat> First, let's inst uh, let's go to the website download mic text a lot turn on Google so here you go so if you are using on Windows machine here it's around 235 MB I have already downloaded this on my PC you can just click download here and yeah you're ready to go if you're on Mac if you're in Linux you can just use yeah these keyboards here and it's it's the same thing with uh, with text live and Mac text also you can do that yourself so basically you do not need a text distribution installed on your computer to, uh, to, to create some documents uh, you can actually even use some websites like overleaf uh, latex base and paparia overleaf is my favorite one so <coughs> let us start uh, why do we need latex we do have MS Word, we do have LibreOffice and software like this. Why do we need Word? So basically, if you are a student who is studying some, is studying natural science, uh, mathematics, especially if you are a student of mathematics or physics uh, or engineering, then then you need you need to write uh, you need to write complex mathematical formulas. And if you if you start using a word, if you start using word, then you will end up after maybe after a page or two, and it's really it's really a pain to write uh, mathematical derivations in word. Uh, and LaTeX has really nice typesetting, therefore we use LaTeX. Uh, this is a picture I downloaded from Google. It's it's showing that as the complexity of document increases, it's better to use LaTeX. If you are writing a letter, if you are writing a simple letter, then go for it. Use Word; it's a lot easier. You will not, uh, you will save a lot of time. But if you are writing something, some mathematical derivations, then it's better to go for LaTeX. So, to uh, so you after you install uh, LaTeX distribution on your computer, uh, you need a text editor. So basically, you can even use one. Uh, you can even use an notepad from microsoft to write it but yeah life is gonna be difficult if you are if you start using notepad i'll show you a easier alternative what i do is uh, i have downloaded visual studio code uh, if you go to this website you can download for windows i think they are it's now available even for linux and mac os and yeah, this is from Microsoft, but this is open source. You're not going to pay for it. And yeah, then you write codes, something like this, and it will be converted to a PDF document that looks really nice. So let me show you some basic ideas here. So basically what happens is you start document with document class. Let me split this into two halves so that I can show you some examples. So, you start a document with document class. 
something like here. Here I started with document class and in the bracket I'll use all the options which I want. For example, I want to use yeah, 12 pt, the font size, two sides. I want to use A4 size paper and in similar way here in the curly brackets I need to write what type of document I am actually writing. So document class can be an article, a report or a book or a letter. It can be anything depending upon what type of document you are preferring. So there are basically two parts, the preamble part and the document, the real document part. So what you do in the preamble part is uh, you, you write something like titles, date, so everything inside here, everything inside this part, this is actually preamble part. Uh, you, you, you just write what type of packages are you going, going to use. For example, it's something like uh, cooking for, let me give you a real world example. Uh, if you want to cook something Italian, then yeah, you need mm, yeah, some Italian sauce and yeah, Italian things. So before you start cooking, you will go to the market, buy the stuffs bring it to your home then you open the packet and then after you then after only you are you can you will be able to cook it's same thing here for example if you are uh, making a document which has complex mathematical derivations for example let's say if i am writing something on field theory then of course i'll have a lot of derivations and i'm going to use uh, packages like ams math this is american mathemat american mathematical society maths packet for example, if I'm writing a document on German language, uh, in German language, then I'm going to use this packet. There are a lot of similar packets. If I'm going to make some circuit diagrams, then I'm going to use uh, this circuits packet. Uh, if I'm going to add some plots to my diagram, then I'm going to use uh, PGF plots. Uh, there are a number of packets. There are a lot of packets uh, which makes our life easier. So. And from here, from actually from this part, you actually start your document. Whatever you write after a percentage sign, uh, it will be, a, it's like comment. It's a comment and it won't be printed on your real document. So uh, let me show you some examples, some basic ideas. So basically everything what starts in Latex, it, it starts with a backslash. For example, backslash title, my first document, backslash author, yeah, backslash make title, backslash table of content. Uh, for example, if I want to, if I want my text to be bold, then I'll just write text, uh, backslash text bf, then it will be bold. And in similar way, if I want cursive or if I want it to be highlighted, then it's like this. Uh, and we have, there is an idea of uh, environment. There is an idea of an environment in LaTeX. For example, if I want the entire thing uh, within what I write here, for example, I can write here an entire story or something. If I want entire thing inside this uh, environment, inside this uh, begin and end, uh, to have a specific font size or anything, then I will just write here begin, something like begin this large, begin large, uh, let me select it. Yeah, begin large. I can just also in here with begin large uh, and whatever I write here, it will be in a large font. And so the most important thing why we use LaTeX actually is for mathematics. So there are actually three most important packets uh, when you are when you are using LaTeX to write some mathematical derivation or anything in LaTeX. Uh, so these are the most three important ones. This is from American Mathematical Society, AMS Math, AMS Symbol for Symbols, AMS TSM for Theorems. So uh, there, there is a little bit of a difference uh, between these two. So for example, if you are writing something like this, then it's a good idea to insert it uh, inside dollar brackets, uh, this dollar signs. So whatever you insert, you are, if, you, if I remove this dollar signs, then my mathematical expressions, this, this will not be printed. You need to tell that it's okay here. I start, I'm going to start here now. 
and everything what I'll write before I write another dollar sign should be a math should be a mathematical. Uh, let me show if I have an example here. Uh, I have some example here. Yeah, I have uh, begin equation actually. Yeah, you can also start an environment. This is an environment. This is an environment begin equation. And you can see this is printed here. And in similar way, you can do a hell lot of things. For example, if I'm going to write these things, then I'll, yeah, within, uh, I'd said within the dollar signs, then it will be printed something like this. Uh, if I want to write square root, then I'll write something like this. And let me show you some websites from where you can actually learn LaTeX in an easier way. We need to thank this guy, uh, Leslie Lampor, who created, uh, yeah, who created the LaTeX distribution. He's a guy. He has a, he studied mathematics at MIT, and of course, maybe he had uh, had a lot of problems because maybe at that time, mathematics were not written. Uh, maybe they were handwritten or something like it was difficult to understand therefore he made uh, something so that it will be easier for all of us so uh, thanks to this guy so uh, let me show you this website this website is really nice uh, beautiful math math uh, beautiful math on Quora so here for example if i want to divide let's say here I, I want here to write some fraction if i want to write like a plus b uh, m plus n you can see whatever i write it will be changed in real times to mathematical fonts and these things i can do here a lot of things uh, if i want to write something related to uh, yeah summations and series sums and series uh, i'll just i'll just write it here and i can just paste this thing in my in a file i'll just insert here dollar sign so that my latex will know yeah this is uh so that my latex will know this is this is not a text this is uh, a mathematical formula so we'll write just before matrices i want to insert it here So if I insert it here, then I'll need to build the latex. So it's being built here. And you should be able to see it here. It's really small and it's here. Actually, I can insert this even here because I already have an environment here up here. So let's see. I'll build it again. So, here you go. Here you can see. So, yeah, from this website, I'll insert this. Uh, I'll insert a link to this website in my bit in the in, in here in below the video. And another really beautiful website is from from Overleaf. Uh, they have a really nice documentation. I learned a lot. Uh, I learned a lot from this website. So just go to Google whatever you want to write. For example, if I want to write matrix, then I'll just copy this. Yeah, I'll copy paste this code and I'll just yeah instead of one two three, I'll just write the stuff what I want to write in my file. Uh, you can do here a lot of things if you are writing fraction if you're writing some yeah, equations or anything <clears throat> so it's really nice website you can actually even compile documents on their website if you have account here so <clears throat> basically that's everything about latex there is also hmm, yeah, there is also a guy named Derek Banas on YouTube yeah, and he also has a really nice tutorial on LaTeX. So thank you for listening till here. I hope 
I hope this video helped you somehow. Uh, I hope this this should be a boost for you on learn in learning LaTeX. So if you if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. YouTube algorithm will help other people to find this video. And if you think I wasted your time, please do unlike. Uh, and if this video helped you somehow, please consider subscribing my channel. Thank you.